So, uh, this is it. Hey. Um, it's been about, gee, going on 10 months uh, since the last time we appeared before you. And we have been on quite a journey ever since. Of course, um, many of you know us from our days uh, in ministry uh, together. We're coming up on 23 years married. And um, every bit of that time has been in ministry in some capacity. Uh, and uh, last year, of course, we felt like uh, that season had come to a close, and uh, it did um, mercifully, uh, painfully, um, um, heartbreakingly, but also hopefully it came to a close. And, uh, and then a funny thing happened, um, and um, uh, as a friend of mine said uh, when he was talking to us a couple of months ago, uh, asking us if we were ever, well, he didn't ask if, he said, when <laughs> are you going to pastor again? Uh, he said, you know, you pastoring is something you can stop doing. You can stop doing it, but you cannot stop being who you are. And um, that sits pretty much with where Connie and I have been. Um, she came to me, when did you come about the tutoring where you said, I feel uh, like... Just after the new year. Uh, she said, I, I feel like I'm going to do some tutoring. And I thought, boy, that'll be great, you know. And um, I mean, she's worked with kids and just blah, blah, schooling and just grace to her children and, and um, our own children, everybody's children. And um, she got involved and got going. And then uh, I started, we started debriefing as couples do at the end of the day and what kids she met and what family she met and who she was talking to. And a particular child story struck me um, of great loss a lot for a little a lot for anyone a lot for a youngster and um, Connie said you can see in her heart she's just she's so precious but she's been through so much and she said I am just going to love this baby and um, just pour all the love that I have and and hearing that story struck me and I uh, I sat on it for a little bit, and I, I just listened to the breakthroughs and to the little things and all these kids, you know, and they're from, what's your youngest, nine, eight, yeah, nine, eight, nine, all yeah. the way up to teens, you know, and, and um, 16, whatever, I guess, uh, and hearing the stories of these young people and hearing how they respond to love, right? So it's tutoring, but it, it's way deeper than that. So <clears throat> in the middle of this, I started thinking, you know, how do I... Um, God, I, 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 I can do that. What, where can I pour in, you know? So I started the How Can I Help sessions. And um, I did my very first one. The very first one. And walked downstairs. Connie was working down there. The kids were working down there. And I, I said, stop what you're doing. I have an announcement. Uh, I'm starting the church again. And, and they, of course, they laugh. Come on, Dad. And uh, I said, no, I'm not going to do that. But... I will tell you this, I finally, for the first time after this session, understood, understand what CJAX meant to people, what it meant to have someone flawed and, 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 and in process as I was, as I am, what it meant to have someone pour into you hope every week. Um, it just, the preciousness of it, don't me. And so out of this comes more conversation and more conversation and more sessions and more conversation and more sessions. And I realize how many people are just stuck in a false idea of God, stuck because of a false idea of God. And I, you know, I was thinking about this <clears throat> when, uh, this is about a week ago, um, the song, you know, it's a uh, fooled around and fell in love, mm -hmm. must have been through about a million girls, you know, love them and leave them alone. I must have been through about... <laughs> Three dozen How Can I Help sessions of man I fooled around and fell in love. <laughs> and, uh, and so here we are um, with a vision, with an idea whose time has come, with a heart to enlarge. I, we're not the same people we were nine months ago. We're definitely not the same people we were um, eight years ago when we stepped down from pastoring. I'm not the same person I was 35 years ago when I started in this. Um, and I'll tell you this, I read this quote, I came across it uh, during this time, and it's a quote by, and I don't know if I'm saying it right, Teresa of Avila or Teresa of Avila, it doesn't matter, we'll put the accents mm -hmm. where we want to put them. Uh, she's in the 1500s, and she said this, 
She said, remember, uh, this is from her writings, if you want to make progress on the path and ascend to the places you've longed for, the important thing is not to think much, but to love much. And so do whatever best awakens your heart to love. And these tutoring sessions and these how can I help sessions have awakened our hearts, my heart, our hearts mm -hmm. to love. Um, I There's so much that was in our hearts to do that uh, particularly for me at 15, I became, you know, Minister Mike, Pastor Mike. Uh, I, I needed to be regular old Mike to do and to be who I'm fully supposed to be. And Pastor Mike, that Minister Mike, that other persona with all of that, that 15-year-old kid that was just a kid and then all of a sudden set at war with the world, set at war with everybody, set at war against evil in every place, set at war against his own self. I'm not at war anymore. Um, and Pastor Mike, that person could never be just who Mike uninterrupted was, was supposed to be. And at 50, I just said, okay, I'm going to shed all of this and start fresh. Who am I? And here's what I figured out. Uh, Pastor Mike could never be fully Mike. But fully Mike can 100% pour into and bless and inspire and encourage people from every walk of life, every place. I can 100% do that. And as soon as I said, okay, God, I'm open to it, people came out of everywhere. A dear man told me, he said, you know, you did not teach me Bible facts. You gave me a lens to see the world empathetically, to see my loved ones and everybody else, to see myself and everybody else. And he said, when you step down from pastoring for eight years, I've been living off the residue of that time, of those eyes, to see through the eyes of Christ. And he said, but the world is different. And he said, I'm ready to be inspired again. People came to me within days of each other, completely unsolicited. And the sorrow and the brokenheartedness of, they said, look, do what you want, do what you feel God leads, but my heart has been sad. And Connie and I are not doing this for people. We're doing it because um, it is as much a part of who we are as everything else we're doing. And we are doing a lot of stuff. Um, there's so much in our heart to do. So we're launching the Church of. Uh, the Church of what? It's, it's yet being defined. It's the Church of Love, the Church of Now, the Church of You, the Church of Everyone. Uh, it's an experiment. It's a church apart from an institution. It's a church for people who are ready to see the world, um, not even through bigger eyes, mm. but really ready to ask the questions and get the answers that correspond to the deepest parts of who we are. It's not for everyone. It's not even open to everyone. It's not public. You can check out our beliefs. You can check out what we do, how how the services work, how we're we're moving beyond an institution. And, and charging people to live charitably is an expression of true religion. Connie and I are still us. And we still have good to pour in. And we've been doing it everywhere where people don't even know who we are, who we used to be. And everywhere we go, they say, where, how, how, how? because it's just us. Mm -hmm. And we want to share it with you. We want to be your pastors. We want to pastor the whole world because we have a vision of God. And I think before we were like, well, just people figured out on their own. And now, as I've been doing these sessions, I see so many people are bowed up in a knot, tied down and strangulated by this false idea of religion. And now it's time to bring what, uh, what we see out fully without apology. What do you got? <laughs> I think you summed it up, but our hearts... We've been on a journey for many years, you know, from when we started um, years hey, hey. ago. Kenobi, relax, bro. Relax. <laughs> as soon as I talk. Yeah. Um, Kenobi, come here. Our journey when we were in Jacksonville, <laughs> our journey since we've left Jacksonville, 
our NEM journey, okay. our journey since we stepped down from that. Okay. And <laughs> keep going. He's, he is not going to be denied. Okay. Sorry, this is it's delayed. almost dinner time. Yeah. Um, and then over these past several months, and as Mike said, something has happened in our hearts. Not that we've changed, but huh. I think something has awoken or yeah. reawoken, or I don't even know how to put it into words, but I told him a few weeks ago as we've been kind of talking all this out, and like he said, people were just, I mean, out of every nook and cranny were coming yeah. to us, you know, unrelated, but all the same, saying the same thing. I said, it's palpable it's okay. what it's we okay. feel, that there's some sort of change in us, and I think it is something that it's time has come yeah. and we feel that we have to do this and we're going to go for it and do it. Yeah. So you're welcome to check us out. And, uh, <laughs> we promise mm -hmm. Kenobi won't be, uh, mm -hmm. won't be present for the mm -hmm. services. He already knows the Lord. <laughs> okay. Just relax. <laughs> we're going to feed you. We're going to feed you. <laughs> Good gracious. Anyway, um, check us out, uh, check out the link, do some looking around. If you want a link from one of our services, we're gonna we're gonna release a new teaching every week. You get it, you let it change your life, let it change you from the inside out, and I guarantee you, uh, you'll be living higher and larger, uh, more connected to the human experience, more engaged in your life than ever before. Um, if you're with us and you say, "Hey, I want to be you there," get the link. If you love us, pray for us. Um, but we make no apologies of who we are and what we have to bring to the world, and. Um, we're excited, and uh, we want you to be a part of it. God bless you. Um, uh, let's do something great. Let's see what God has. Just thank you for your love. Yes. God bless you all.